Hey, it's Seth here from macOS 10 screencast.com. In this screencast, I'd like to show you OmniFocus, which comes from the Omni Group. You can download it at omnigroup.com slash application slash OmniFocus. OmniFocus is basically a GTD application and is really, really, really good at this. If you want to have a closer look at this application, I, you know, I can cover that much in ten, 10 minutes. I really can recommend these screencasts done by Don McAllister. You can download them as well. They are free. And, and as well on their web page is this OmniFocus GDD and U uh, PDF, which was written by David Allen himself, I think. Um, let's close Safari and switch to OmniFocus. Here you see I have on the left hand side my project list and GDD is all about creating lists and OmniFocus is so great at creating lists. Here I've created a so-called project template which is being activated by this PTP button which stands for uh, Populate Template Project. This works together with this template project. You see that I have these uh, placeholders here that are these double arrows on the left and right side. These uh, arrows are being used by the script to uh, populate the template once you click the menu bar. You, as I said before, just enter those um, template values inside the notes section, one line only, and when you're completed with your or uh, satisfied with your template project, just select it on the left hand side, click PTP in the menu bar. You are then asked for all your placeholders, in my case the app, and I'd like to do a review on. OmniFocus. Once I'm done with that, um, the script populates the template and I can then reorder this inside my Mac OS X list section and you see that all placeholders have been replaced by the values I've entered before. Okay, I've already planned my OmniFocus review, this is why we are here. I'd like to set a start date for recording the OmniFocus um, review which is TOD today and I'd like to publish this one next Wednesday therefore I just enter WED I don't like to enter a completed um, date and all these to-dos take about 30 minutes to one hour uh, writing takes about 30 minutes and publishing a review takes again just five minutes. Uh, the last to do here is the feature requests and bugs to do. You know when I get a new application to review for macOS 10 screencasts I really really take a thoroughly look at this application and sometimes I find bugs or I have some feature requests and all these to-do items go inside this feature requests and bugs section in every project I am populating with the script. Just hit return to create a new task and then hold down the control command and hit the right key to inline that task. I can then give a name for that task. Let's say I'm not satisfied with the uh, interface of uh, OmniFocus in this case and then I just enter the interface, needs an overhaul, and that one can be sent straight to the developer. Let's bring up the inspector on the right hand side. You know, every GTD um, project can be set to uh, be done serial or parallel. When it's set to be serial, every task uh, depends on the previous one. In parallel mode, every task can be done um, when it's time. And when you have a single action list, this is special in GTD, this is somehow the normal to-do list you may already know. And I really like how OmniFocus incorporates with the GTD methodology. A project can be done to be ongoing, waiting, dropped or completed. Let's say we drop the Facebook screencast here. The project then disappears, but we can bring it back. Just click on the project filter here. I have set this filter to be always visible. We can bring back the dropped project by clicking on all projects here. And you then see all dropped, completed and on hold projects. and our uh, drop project as well. Okay, we can go back to remaining and just to give you an idea of what's possible with OmniFocus I go through all the uh, filters on the upper menu. 
Okay, let's go back to our OmniFocus project. We can set a start date, a due date as well. We can set a default context here in the project inspector, like Mac OS X screencasts. All the contexts are listed in the context list, which is a, you know, it's a perspective. I talk about perspectives later. Okay, uh, here I have uh, context for my job or some persons I'm working with. This is how I'm using projects or contexts. Okay, you can set a completed date. You can repeat um, some projects if they are repeating and this is really great here down below. The review part. You can review every project. In my case I'm reviewing every uh, project or all my tasks once a week. Uh, but you can set them to be reviewed uh, more often, like every hour or every day, probably. In my case, one week fits every project. When you want to review your projects, just go to Perspectives and here you see a special perspective called Review, where all reviewable l actions are being listed. You can set up your own perspectives by going to the Perspectives menu and this allows you to customize how you like to look at your projects and your tasks. Everything's saved in one place. Okay, let's go back to our OmniFocus project here. I closed the inspector now and let's say I'd like to do the record OmniFocus review. I make the window a little bigger and when I want to do something I can flag it. I can then go to the perspective flagged and all flagged items are being listed. This is probably the best for people coming from uh, applications like things or so. Normally you can also go to to today this is my special perspective which is being sorted by start date and active projects or active um, actions and here I can look up all my active you know tasks. I have to say that using uh, OmniFocus every day is like you know it's so intuitive in use it's brilliant it's looking fantastic and it has some more advanced features like the quick input panel. You can bring up this on my computer with Control F12, and there you can uh, quickly input new tasks like saying the OmniFocus they have made a really really brilliant application. You can assign a project if you like. Just enter three keystrokes here, and all the um, projects show up in a list. You don't have to assign a uh, context if you have to set a default context for your action. You can set uh, new uh, tasks by hitting control return. I stick with this task and you see the window is disappearing and when we go to OmniFocus inside our MOS X to do's list is now this task being listed and we can do this if you want. You can redrag them to other lists as well and last but not least let's have a closer look at the preferences. Here you can set up syncing for let's say uh, uh, the iPhone or another installation of OmniFocus. Just click on one of these five icons to set up syncing with your server. You can set up syncing for iCal as well. That's no problem for uh, OmniFocus either. You can set up mail you, uh, or a mail rule. Whenever you get a mail with specific uh, formatted text, a new uh, to-do item is being created or you can set up uh, a special clippings shortcut here where you can use mail text or just plain mail to create new tasks. Just select some text inside mail and a new to-do item is being created inside OmniFocus. You can switch to style. There you can load up new themes from the forums. There are, there are a couple of them already listed on the forums from the Omni Group. Just go there and you have a couple of them to get started. In the data tab you can set up how newly data should be uh, created like a default single action list or a date to start of for the week. In the general tab lastly 
uh, that quick entry shortcut is being set. And this was it for the screencast. I hope you like OmniFocus a lot. And if you like to have the chance to win one of one <laughs> free license, we only have one license this time, just go to our website, leave us a comment of your most favorite feature of OmniFocus, or retweet our tweet on this review on Twitter, and you have the chance to get that license. This is the end of this review. I hope you like it and the application as well and I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye!